Stream, I'm Shala Vogue. On this program, we look at the latest business trends in Japan and other parts of Asia, as well as what's happening in the rapidly changing global economy. Our commentator today is Yumiko Murakami, head of OECD Tokyo Center. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. We're really happy to have you. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at today's lineup. Refrigeration technology in Japan is not only advancing, it's expanding. It's being used in everything from the food industry all the way to the medical field. The technology might be cool, but the level of innovation is starting to heat things up. Last September, the United Nations made a shocking announcement. After years of decreasing, the percentage of people who are undernourished throughout the world increased to 11%. Or about 815 million people. In Japan, one company is trying to use its business as a way to help solve this problem. This ever evolving technology can keep items cool for up to 200 hours without any electricity, allowing for long distance cold transport. Nice battery could be added value. That's why it's bringing new revolutions. Issues. Yes, um, well, I have in front of me here some ice batteries, mm -hmm. so if I'll pass these round ah, to have right. a look. There you go. Now, um, these you pop them in the freezer for um, 10 hours mm -hmm. and then they can be used to keep your food cool. Now, the interesting thing is the colours there. So that green one there um, stores things at zero degrees, okay. whereas this yellow one stores things at minus 16 degrees, oh. so they can be kept, keep items at different temperatures. Oh, very mm. interesting. I mean, they all kind of just look like normal ice packs. Well, the main difference is that um, they stay cool for a lot longer. With, with dry ice, it gets warm after a few hours, whereas one of these units um, can stay cold for 24 hours. Now, when you combine them, that um, they have a cooling effect on one another, mm. which means that they can keep things cold for up to 200 hours, which is more than one week. So that's very environmentally friendly. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's actually, a long time. Yeah, yeah. Well, since you mentioned that, they can be reused um, 2,000 times, oh, 2000 which times. is a really good And impact. without CO2 emission. Right, so right, that's right. a good news, clean air. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, let's find out a bit more about the company behind the revolutionary product. In the heart of Tokyo's financial and business district, one company is working to shake up the global logistics industry with its unique products. The founder and CEO, Pankaj Garg, first left India to work as an engineer at a major semiconductor maker in the US. He then took much of what he learned on the job about refrigeration and came up with his own product, the ice battery. Eleven different varieties of this product are available in set temperatures ranging from minus 35 up to 25 degrees Celsius. The secret behind the technology lies in the liquid that the containers are filled with, but the formula is top secret. The products are now being used by over 100 businesses, including major freight transport companies of both the rail and road variety. This technology, I think, can be do multi-dimensional impact to the society, and the social value and also environment. This large Japanese air cargo company started using ice batteries two years ago, as it allows them to respond to unexpected situations without needing an electric power supply. We think it's very important to be able to keep products cold for 100 hours or more that way we don't risk degrading the quality of our cargo, even if something gets held up for a day or two during the shipping process. In March of last year, Mr. Garg unveiled a new product, a hybrid refrigerator that can keep its contents cool for up to 24 hours without a power supply. In his home country of India, the electric power supply is unstable and power outages are common. This means that standard refrigerators aren't always able to do their jobs, and food items can spoil more rapidly. From shipping and local retail locations, all the way to the homes of consumers, there are several refrigeration issues that lead to food loss in India. We are lacking food today. 
So if you convert this 40% loss to food, it's a huge advantage to the society.